Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the minimum number of days to make M bouquet's problem from lead code and the number for this is 1482. So in this problem we are given with an integer array bloom day and an integer M and integer K. So here integer M means we want to make M bouquets and to make a to make a bouquet we need K adjacent flowers from the garden. Now the garden consists of N flowers and the ith flower will bloom on the bloom day I. Then then only it can be used in exactly one bouquet. So from the problem we know that each flower can be used in only one bouquet. Okay. And it can be only used after it has bloomed. And we want to make M bouquets of K flowers and the K flowers need to be adjacent. So the number of flowers required becomes M into K. So the problem requires us to make M into K M bouquets of K flowers uh, in the minimum number of days and we if we cannot make it we can return minus one so let's see how we'll do it so the first step will be involved is that we can check do we have the sufficient number of flowers so simply multiply m into k that will be the total number of flowers that we require and if it is less than n that is the length of bloom day we can simply return false because in that case the number of flowers required is more than the actual number of flowers that we have. So this is a simple condition which we can check. The next step to approach the problem is using binary search. We can apply binary search on the problem. Like we know that the minimum number of days which can be a possible answer is 1 for any question which can be a possible answer. And the maximum number which can be a possible answer after we have done the check is the largest value from the bloom dairy that is the largest value from the bloom dairy so the answer will be in between these two only so we can simply apply binary search using low equal to 1 and high equal to the maximum value of the bloom dairy so let's see how we are going to do this so we apply low equal to 1 and high equal to maximum value in the bloom day then we have a function which checks if after a particular number of days is it possible to make m bouquets so what we will do suppose we have 1 and high equal to 10 for this example because 10 is the maximum value in this example and 1 is minimum so the mid becomes 5 so can we make a bouquet in mid days yes we can make and for this we will use a function a helper function that will check if is it if it is possible to make m bouquets so uh, the helper function returns that yes we can make it in mid days so what we'll do we'll do high equal to mid because if we can make it in mid days we also have to check uh, check it like can we make can we make m bouquets in less than mid days so yes this is a possibility like for this mid was 5 we are able to make m bouquets in 5 days but is it the minimum number of days that is not sure so what we'll do we'll reduce the high from the maximum value to the mid so high equal to mid now the new mid will become new low is the low is still one the new high is the mid from previous that is 5 and the new mid becomes 1 plus 5 by 2 that is 3 so we'll check using the helper function can we make bouquets in 3 days it says yes yes we can make it I think there is some uh, issue here it should be high equal to mid I'll correct this so yes we can make it definitely make it so we'll again check for uh, mid minus uh, for less than mid days so the low becomes 1 the high becomes 3 and the new mid becomes 2 so then we'll check can we make it in mid days no is it it is not possible so then we'll do low equal to mid plus 1 and as soon as we do this in the next step the low becomes 3 and the high becomes 3 and that means we have reached our answer that is 3 so let us let me show you the helper function as well so the helper function does nothing but it traverses the entire array checks if the number of bouquets formed using adjacent uh, and counts it and if it reaches the count equal to m it returns true otherwise it returns false so this is a pretty simple approach of the helper function 
now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so the first step what was the first step the first step was to check if we have that much number of flowers for this we'll use long because we are multiplying two integers so if m into k is greater than bloom day dot length this means we do not have a possible answer return minus one otherwise we can start with the binary search to be equal to one equal to so we can keep it as if you want you can keep the maximum value as well I am taking it 1e9 because we need to write extra code I am just lazy to write that uh, that piece of extra code otherwise you can do do find the maximum value in the bloom day and then write it in the high I think this should also give us the right answer now instead of writing high low plus high by 2 we should write low plus high minus low by 2 because this avoids integer overflow in cases while we do the addition so the next step is we have found the mid we have to check using the helper function so let's say our helper function is named as is possible bookcase and this will take a bloom day array the mid and yeah, that's it so whatever answer this returns if it returns true that means it is possible in mid days we have to check for the lesser number of days so the high becomes mid air otherwise we have to check for more number of days that means we have to increase the lower limit so the low equal to mid plus one simply return the low from here now it's time to write the helper function so what was the name is possible bookcase consist of array bloom day int m int k and int the day in, in that day and we complete so total here will count the number of bouquets formed in the days we will iterate in the bloom day while i is less than bloom day dot length i should be within this array index and count is less than k and also bloom day of i should be less than the day which we have given so if all these three conditions are passed that means we can take that particular flower for the bouquet and increase the eye counter and if after this loop if the count e equals k that means we can make one bouquet so we'll do a total plus plus 
and we can also do a i minus minus because we have done i plus plus in the last case so we have to counter that as well and if total at any point of time becomes greater than equal to m that is we have created the required number of bouquets so we can return true otherwise return calls at the end so let's try to run this so there is some error here so this is taking it as double we can write it here end so there is some issue let me check it So we have to do this greater than equal to because the flower can bloom in less than or equal to that day. So you can see the all the test cases, sample test cases are passed. Let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well. So the hidden test cases pass as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So let's talk about the time complexity and the memory complexity as well. So the time complexity for this solution is uh, o of n log of max day if you write here the max number of max days I have written here e raised to the power 9 that is that will be o n log this value otherwise you can take the max value in the bloom day and write here so that becomes and the space complexity is actually o of 1 because we are using only arbitrary constants so this was the code you can also find my solution by going to the solutions panel of the lead code and check my solution this, this is my solution here you can find the the youtube video the intuition approach the step by step explanation explanation how i have done it and also the complexity analysis along with java code c++ code python code javascript code and yes do remember to upload me so I hope you understood the logic. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.